it's Anne again. I've been assigned Mondays. And what's going on is that apparently every week we're getting assigned a topic to talk about for four to five minutes. And this week's topic would be what is the best place you've been to so far this summer and who's the most interesting or best person you've met so far. Well, where do I begin? I had the extreme pleasure of going to France for a very short while. It was, I think any amount of time in France was, is never enough. Um, we started off in Paris, which was divine. Of course, I went up the Eiffel Tower. Um, that was kind of cliche. I I really enjoyed um, I really enjoyed seeing the Notre Dame. I, I I love the Pantheon. If you don't know what that is, that's um, a crypt-like building where basically the greatest minds that France has ever seen. Um, that's where they're buried, like Voltaire, Rousseau, Victor Hugo. Um, Zola, there's Alexandre Dumas, there's even a Foucault's pendulum in there, it's pretty cool. Um, what else did I see? I saw Galerie Lafayette, which is this huge department store with multiple levels. I think it's about eight stories large in one building, and there's like another building for Les Hommes. Uh, Les Hommes, I forget if there's a liaison. It's been so long since I've sat in a French class. I'm kind of scared about that. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a shopper's dream, essentially. Um, there's so many designers, and I walked down the Ch Les Champs Elysees, which was it was lovely, but it screamed conspicuous consumption. I saw L'Hôtel des Invalides, where Napoleon is buried, I saw Versailles, I saw so many beautiful things. I was down the River Seine, it was great, and we were, I was so sad to leave, but um, after that we went to Provence, Avignon, and we got to see a bunch of old Roman and medieval structures. And then after that was Nice, and we just pretty much enjoyed what Nice had to offer. It's a very resorty beach type of city with a lot of young people, and there's a beach there, of course, but it's very rocky. And we were there around the time of Ironman, Nice. Ironman being the triathlon event. And we even went to Monaco. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> and um, during that trip, I got to meet um, I had the pleasure of meeting Robert, who was our tour manager. He preferred to go by Rob. He's a recent graduate um, of Oxford. He studied in French literature, but he's getting a real job in the real world as a real estate agent. Go figure. Or not a real estate agent, but he's going to be in real estate, so um, that, that was my main assumption. He was very vague about his life, but um, he warmed up to our group. Um, he took us around Montmartre because he had lived there for a while and he took us to a tavern where we were able to order a meal in French which was very exciting. He also showed us the Moulin Rouge and Les Deux Moulins which is where Amelie worked if you had ever seen that film which I recommend. It's um, the quintessential French film that everyone likes to see because they can say, oh yeah, I've seen a foreign film. Which film was it? Oh, Amelie. I mean, it's still a good film, though. I'm not discrediting it at all. It's just, there's so much more diff French cinema than Amelie. Um, but yeah, it was such a great trip, and it just was validating, I guess. It made me really want to study abroad in France. I saw the Sorbonne, it was so pretty, but of course it's not a university anymore. It broke up in the 70s and stuff, but it's still so pretty. 
I love the Latin Quarter of Paris. It's great, as well as Momota. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to hear from everyone else. Um, you guys have probably had a really exciting summer, and I'm so anxious to hear all about it.